Hello awesome and welcome to my channel Little Sunshine. Today I'm going to give you my 6 tips on how to prevent plagiocephaly or the flathead syndrome. So let's get started. and welcome to my channel Little Sunshine. My name is Eva and I'm currently a stay-at-home mom of a handsome boy named Daniel. Being a parent is a really wonderful and exciting experience but it can be also pretty challenging sometimes with a lot of questions and uncertainty especially if you're a first-time parent like me. So in this channel I share some of my experience, tips, tools, strategies that help during my day-to-day -day life and hopefully they can be helpful for you too and make parenthood a little bit easier. So if this sounds like something you you're interested in, consider subscribing to my channel. In my last video, I told you our story with Pedro Cephaly and Daniel's journey with wearing two dog bands. Obviously, I already had some more experience and if I knew those things before, I would have definitely done some things differently before. So here are my suggestions or tips for you or how to prevent uh, your baby from having a flat head. And tip number one is avoid the use of bouncers, swings and any other type of convenience devices where your baby is laying. We all know that the back leg position is safest for our babies, but do you know that the newborn spent typically between 16 and 20 hours a day sleeping? So can you imagine how much of a pressure this put on their heads and backs? And what do we do while they are awake? We put them in strollers, car seats, play gyms, bouncers, swings, or any other type of convenience devices where they are still laying on their backs. So my tip number one for you, my suggestion is try to avoid the use of bouncers or swings. And I mean, I know we are uh, parents, we are people too. So from time to time, we just need some time to finish something. And probably your baby will finish up in a bouncer or a swing, but at least try to limit this time. And my tip number two is uh, hold your baby as often as you can and don't worry you're going to spoil them because babies cannot make connection between crying and response to their crying uh, until they are nine months. So uh, newborns and young babies will definitely uh, not get spoiled if you hold them more often. My tip number three is consider the use of baby wrap or any other type of baby carrier and there are so many benefits in wrapping your baby, like it reduces crying, uh, it stimulates the production of oxytocin, which is a hormone that plays a very important role in our uh, emotional regulation and social um, behavior. And recent research also shows that uh, it reduces the stress and anxiety levels. So it is a good prevention also against postpartum depression and postpartum anxiety. Um, also, you are able to hold your baby close to you while in the same time your hands are free, so you are still able to move around the house, probably do some of your day-to-day uh, -day chores or probably play with your older kiddo while in the same time you don't miss this snuggle and closeness with your little one. And also when you keep your baby so close to you, this stimulates your milk production. Definitely a lot of benefits, so give it a try. And my tip number four is change the position of your baby in the crib. Babies like uh, to look at some interesting thing and what's going on around, so they tend to turn their heads toward the room instead of toward the wall. So uh, when you place your baby in the crib on one day, you can place them so their heads are pointing up at the top of the crib and on the other day change the position so their heads are pointing at the bottom of the crib and just alternate their position every day. My tip number five is uh, change the position of the baby's head while they're sleeping. Just occasionally uh, change the position of their head from left to right and right to left uh, while they are sleeping and this will uh, reduce the amount of pressure they put on only one spot on their heads. And my tip number six is tummy time. And I will have another video uh, talking more about tummy time and I will give you my suggestions or how to have a successful tummy time but I want you to mention it also here because it's so 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 important and it's not only a prevention against plagiocephaly but it will also strengthen the muscle of your baby's uh, neck and back so this will stimulate their development and it will help them in reaching their next milestone like uh, rolling, 
sitting, crawling, etc. Okay, so these are uh, these were my six tips on how to prevent plagiocephaly or the flathead syndrome. If you have any other suggestions, please feel free to drop them in the comments uh, down below so other parents can benefit from them too. And I will catch up in the next video. Have a great day. Bye!